Hello, ladies and gents, my name is Pat, and welcome back to the Regalia. We're gonna be playing some Fire Emblem Blazing Sword today. Uh, okay, so we left off at chapter 2, at the beginning of chapter 2. So let's see what's all this about. A small, a small altar lies on the outskirts of Bulgar. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Saka, Sake. <laughs> Uh, just stop saying that, man. Of Sa Sakel has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers come here to pray for their well being. At this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. Oh. Okay, so. What's the inheritance, I wonder? Oh, oh, it's gotta be a sword, right? Sword of Spirits? Okay. Very cool. Patsan, hold a moment and allow me a short detour. There is a sacred sword enshrined in an altar east of here. The people of Saka go there to pray for safety at the onset of a long journey. Uh, oh, how quaint. And the teachings of Elimin have the most fo followers in Elib. <laughs> Elimin and have the most followers in Elib. <laughs> it is nice to see that, here at least. The ancient customs are still observed. I'm sorry if I'm butchering some of these words, man. Old man, stay where you are and hold your tongue. Threaten me as you will, but I'll not give up the Manikati. Is that the sword? The Manikati is a sacred blade under divine protection. It cannot be removed from its place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What good's a sword if you don't use it? Use it? In combat? Sacrilege. Sacrilege? I am glass, the gods fear my name. My sword play is peerless. And if I want this sword, then this sword I shall have. Now get out of my way. Oof! <laughs> it's weird, man. I'm trying my best. This is it! It's more magnificent than I'd imagined. This sword was made for a swordsman of my skill. Hmm? What's this? Eh, I, I, I can't draw the sword from its scabbard. Oh, the spirits of the blade have judged you. They have been found wanting. They have rejected you. What? Listen, you see now, old fool. If you value you or your own life, you will get out of my sight. Alright, we have a lot of enemies to take care of here. I feel like we're just fighting bandits. Curses! Miserable spirits! I care nothing for you. I'll tear this altar down stone by stone. Oh, we have a girl? Who's that girl? Oh, okay. Just, uh, I beg your pardon, milady. Are you headed east to the altar? Yes, we are indeed. Then, you must hurry and help the priest there. I saw a band of local ruffians headed in there not long ago. They seemed intent on stealing the altar's sacred sword. The Manikati. They're going to steal it? I cannot allow this to happen. You look like a virtuous group. Please help them. Lindis, what are you planning? If you hope to go to the priest's aid, you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, Patsan. There are some homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. The three buildings to the south are homes. You can speak with the people who live there. They sometimes give you combat hints or useful information about the land and the people. It pays to listen. Wow, this is really cool. Shall I take the lead? Alright, tell me what you would like me to do, Patsan. This is really cool. They pull in like some RPG elements into a turn-based game, which is wow. That's very interesting. Say, aren't you the 
Oh, you're going to help the priest? Well, perhaps you could benefit from something I saw earlier. The bandits may have the main entrance guarded. However, one of the altar's walls uh, is cracked and in poor repair. You might be able to create another entrance by hitting that section with your weapons. We're all counting on you. Okay, send Sane to visit another home. All right, let's go find... Sane is probably this guy right here? No, this guy. All right, let's go. This home or this home? I think it was this one. Oh, it's this one. All right, let's go there. Let's visit it. Hello, old man. Mountains make it more difficult to be hit. But they're difficult to traverse. If you're riding on horseback, you can't cross them all. Be careful. Remember, your mounted units possess the ability to move again. After moving, cavalry can move the rest of their movement range. Oh yeah, okay. This also goes for units mounted on Pegasi? What? And Wyverns. Now, give Sane his orders. Uh, well... He can't talk to this guy. Well, I'll we'll just put him here. Oh we'll wait. Kent's turn. This visit isn't necessary for combat purposes. Uh, its residents may have useful knowledge. I recommend stopping by. Select Kent. Okay, so judging on this uh, battlefield, I cannot cross this with horseback. So it looks like we are forced to go through this wall, especially with our cavalry. Right, let's go there. Ah, uh, hello, little girl. You know much about the sword held at the altar? It's called the Manikati, blessed by the spirits. According to the priest, the Manikati is waiting for its rightful owner to appear. So odd, don't you think? The idea that a sword can choose who will wield it. Mm. Let's go. Let's let's go here. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Come at me, my brothers. Uh, you should know something about fortresses. Fortresses offer more protection than woods do. Fighting from a space in a fortress is beneficial. Remember, this holds true for friend and foe alike. Keep this mind. Keep this in mind before engaging your enemy. Fortresses will allow injured units to regain health points. Uh, okay, which is the fortress? That one right there, or these two little buildings over there? The HP you recover in one turn is fairly small. However, as long as you remain in the fortress, you'll regain HP every turn. Wow. Okay, that sounds very beneficial. There are other places where units can recover HP. Castle gates, thrones. Oh, thrones right there. Okay, so... Oh, it's a wall. Brace. Uh, fortress. Okay, we're going in there. Let's go, my brothers. Um, let's go there. We'll wait. We'll draw Lin into the forest. Like right here. Or maybe here. Wait there. And Kent. He cannot travel far, so let's... I don't want to be put there because he's going to come for me, so let's go here. Let's wait. Hopefully go for the guy in the fort. Yes! Ooh! Ooh! Yeah! Oh, he's not going to try anymore. Okay. He got punished pretty heavily there. This chapter's goal is to seize the throne. The leader of the enemy is on the throne now. Defeat him and have Lin seize the throne. Uh, his name is Glass. He's a sword-bearing mercenary. Oh yeah. Okay. So sword, lance. The lance is strong or is longer than the sword. So, what weapon is best? Uh, yeah, the lance. Okay. So we have to get our cavalry in there, and the only way is to go through the wall because we can't cross the mountains. Uh, it's up to you, Patsan. Good luck. All right, guys. We're gonna go through. Uh, uh, Lin can go there. Ah, uh, man. Put through the fortress here. Wait. He can attack. Please don't miss. Alright. Oh, he was so close to leveling. Alright. Lin? Oh, that sucks. But this camp... Until they come to us. Alright, this is good. 
We'll wait here. Ah, shoot. We'll go here or here. Yeah, there we go. Ah, we can just wait it out. Let them come to us. We hold the advantage. Yes. Okay. It's a lot of health, eh? Oh, here we go again. Yes, they can't touch Ken. Oh, that's insane. How could I forget? Their color is different. Sane and Kent. Alright, what did he get? Strength, skill, speed. Is that resolve? Resolve or resolute? Or maybe respite? Okay, let's let's go kill our enemies. Oh yeah, this is a weapon durability. No, I hate durability in any game. Whatever, it's kind of very realistic, right? They put some realism into it, because swords don't last long. Especially if you use it to cut down your foes. You know what I'm saying? All our enemies are using axes. Which is pretty easy for us. Because we have swords. Um, 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 um. Alright, we'll just wait it out. Alright, let's... Uh, let's do this. Attack. Maybe with the lance. I want to save the sword a bit. Okay. What? Okay, we'll put her right here. Maybe right here. What will make it easier for me to walk? Like that? Alright, let's attack that. Come on. Oh, come on! I can't attack it. I can't, guys. I have to wait another turn. Dang, I thought I could get it. We're ready to breach the walls! Let's go through! Come on! Yes! Can I go through? Yes! Time to die! Attack! The lands! Okay, so he's got 65 hit. Okay, let's do this. Who do you think you are? What chance do you think you have against me? Oh, that's a lot of damage, and... Ouch. Nah, he's got 3 damage against 12. Okay, can we go through here and attack that guy? Yes, we can. She missed, or he missed. Nice. So, I like Lin. She can do 2 hits. 2 hits before, uh... Oh, he healed up. Because he's on the throne, right? Remember? Uh-oh. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, he's dead. Sane is doing really good. Hopefully he doesn't get attacked, though. Uh-oh. Please don't die. No, he's got three damage. He's dead. Come on, that's a suicide. You, you, ugh. Ah, he's dead. Sane is leveling up really, really a lot, man. Seriously. He's level 3. Kent is like 1, right? Oh, nice. I got some healing potions. Sometimes you get enemies after defeating enemies. Um, a single unit can carry a maximum of 5 items. You might need to drop some old items to pick up new ones. Bear this in mind. Or we can trade it, right? With our other friends. You can see what items your enemies will drop by checking their inventories. Place the cursor. And then press the R button. Okay, let's do that. The status screen contains information about the unit you've selected. Press the control pad left and right. Okay, let's do that later. If any of the items are glowing yellow, you will get them if you defeat the unit. Don't forget. Okay, so... He said press R on an enemy. Oh, that's cool. Damn, that bandit looks dazed as hell. I I I'm wondering how he's not killing us. He has no items. Let me see. Lin's got... Yeah, yeah, there you go. I can see the items. Oh, that's cool. Okay, Kent. It's your turn to level up. So, let's set you over here. Uh, I'm not gonna seize the throne yet. Let's go kill everybody first. Uh, she's gonna steal the glory. 
Can I put it here? Yeah, we'll wait here. He can heal up, right? Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. That's a lot of damage. I thought I would dodge it. Oh, she attacks twice. Damn. I thought it only it's when he misses that she can attack twice. Oh, this is really cool, man. Okay, Kent, you finished the job. Uh, uh, wait there. Kent, take it away. Yeah! He stood no chance. Yes. All right, we'll move him away. No, next turn, next turn. When she can move. Yes. Okay, so let's move away. Uh, actually, wait. Let me give a healing potion to our friend. Let's trade. Can't. Oh, everyone's got healing potions. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, wait, what? Let me move him there. Seize. I I love the controls. Very easy. Cause it's Game Boy, right? Ah, your clothing. Are you of the Lorca tribe? Flashback? Flashback? Oh! It came out! Effortlessly! It's like Excalibur! This is... Oh my god! It is time for you to go, Lin. You face a great many ordeals. Grab the sword and meet your destiny head on. Yes, yes sir! Yay, we've been blessed with a new sword. Hopefully it doesn't break. Maybe it's got like unlimited durability. So this is the Manikati. A blade with no equal. This is also unbelievable. Perhaps the most famous sword in all of Sakura. In my hand. Or it's Sasei. Sasei. It's not so strange, in fact. Many legends tell similar tales. Special blades all over the land call out to their proper owners and yet when I saw you draw that blade Lindis I felt something extraordinary that sword was waiting for you you were meant to draw it stop it I I'm nothing special think of it this way some weapons feel more comfortable in your hand right well the manikati itself feels very comfortable with you does this make it any easier for you to accept it doesn't appear that either of us can use it it does feel right in my hand, but maybe it's a blade that I only I could wield. That seems reasonable enough. I can understand that. Look at it, pat -san. Oh, let me see, let me see. Oh, 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 wow. It's very small. It's like a dagger, I think. It's probably huge, but I think it's a dagger-like sword. This is my sword, she says. I must care for it well. Care for it like a... Uh, like a pet, like you know, someone, something you like, someone you like maybe, uh, like a family. Your sword is a part of you, you know. Madeline's daughter is still alive. Okay, so this is the guy who wants to kill her, right? It's the uncle. Uh, yes, Lord Lundgren. The girl is traveling with Kent and Sane. What are your orders? If we let them be, ah. I've heard that northern burn is full of bandits. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I am more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. Oh, the Marquis. I see. The poison. There must be no blunders, remember? Yes, my lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. Damn, this is... This is... Yeah. The Marquis's death. Do no doubt. This sudden illness is not far off. <laughs> soon, soon, Galen will be mine. Man, his face is just so. It's like. Bloop. <laughs> it just, his chin is like. Bloop. Okay, so let's save, guys. Oh, what? Oh, I can only have a max of three. Okay, so let's just. Order, in order, we'll do it like that. Okay? We're done the prologue, so we'll skip that. Actually, guys, I'm gonna make it... I like the fact that it's like this. Um, it's much easier to end the episodes. Um, I'll make it a chapter every every video. So that way, 
I don't want to pressure too much on you guys and, uh, and we could take more time on each chapter if need be, right? Yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. And uh, remember, divided we are unequal, but together, you're kings and queens. See you soon.